Good morning. Last class we have studied the classification of uh, alcohol. And in this class we are discussing the isomerism in alcohol. Isomerism in alcohol. Isomerism in alcohol. First one is uh, chain branch isomerism. Number one, chain branch isomerism. Example, these are very simple isomerism in uh, alcohols. First one is uh, chain branch isomerism. Example, look at here. CH3, CH2, 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 OH. In normal butanol, butanol, and uh, look at here, it's uh, isomerism CH3, CH, CH3, CH2, OH, CH2, OH, 2, 2-methyl, 2-methyl, propane, 1 all 2 methyl propanol 2 methyl propanol so this is an example for a chain branch isomerism butanol and uh, you can see that uh, 1 2 3 4 uh, c 4 h 3 2, 5 7 9 10 c 4 h 10 o and look at here 1 2 3 4 c 4 c 4 3 plus 3, 6, 7, 9, 10, H10, O, C4, H10, uh, O. So, this is an example for uh, chain branch isomerism, N-butanol and 2-methyl uh, propanol, 2-methyl propanol. This is an uh, uh, example for uh, chain branch isomerism. This is chain and here you can see that uh, there is a branch. And of course, uh, there is no change in the position of the OH group. That is different. Here the OH group is at the tail end. There is no change in the position of the OH group. Therefore, it is known as a chain branch. Okay. You are not changing the position of the OH group. But this is chain uh, alkyl group. And uh, this one is a branched uh, alkyl group. So, this is an uh, uh, example for uh, chain branch isomerism. Now, second one is. Position isomerism. Position. Position isomerism. Okay. Look at here. CH3, CH2, 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 OH, butanol, and CH3, CH, OH, CH2, CH3. Correct. These two are uh, what is that? Uh, uh, position isomerism. Uh, okay. Here you can see that uh, the OH group is at the tail end, and here you can see that the OH group has the second carbon, second uh, carbon, and uh, 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 these are example for uh, uh, what is that? Uh, position isomerism. Okay. Okay. Uh, very simple isomerism that you know very well. Okay. Next is uh, next is uh, third isomerism. Third isomerism. Functional isomerism. Functional isomerism. In functional isomerism, the two isomers are differ each other uh, in the functional group. Example, CH3, CH2, OH. This is ethanol. And its molecular formula 1, 2, C2, H. H C three plus two five plus one six C two H six O, and uh, I am writing an isomer for this ethanol C H three O C H three. This is ether. The function group is changed. And look at the molecular formula. What is that? C two C two H six H six O. 
same molecular formula but different uh, structure differ they differ each other in the functional group here the functional group is uh, oh group and here it is uh, uh, ether group okay on this hydroxyl group and the other one is uh, ether group this type of isomerism is known as uh, functional isomerism in functional isomerism uh, the isomers are differ in the uh, functional groups but different types of functional groups are present okay these are the main isomerism different types of isomerism shown by our alcohol first one is uh, chain branch isomerism and the second one is uh, position isomerism in position isomerism the isomers are differ each other in the position of the functional group the position of the oh group that is what is known as a, a position isomerism and uh, last one is uh, functional isomerism so that's all about uh, isomerism in alcohols next is uh, preparation of alcohols preparation preparation of alcohols Preparation of uh, alcohol. First method number one from from alkene from alkene. Number one, the first method is uh, preparation of alcohol from alkene. In that one, there are different methods to prepare alcohols from alkene. Uh, out of that, a yeah, number one, uh, hydration of hydration. Of alkene. There are different methods to prepare alcohols from alkene. The first method by the hydration of alkene, by the hydration of alkene. That means alkene are CH double bond CH2. Okay, I am taking alkene are CH double bond CH2. React with the water in presence of uh, dilute acid in presence of dilute acid so reaction of alkene with water in presence of uh, dilute acid you will get look at the uh, reaction the reaction is following Markovnikov's rule what do you mean by Markovnikov's rule R CH double bond CH2 plus H2 can be written as uh, H plus OH minus H OH minus according to Markovnik's cross rule the positive part of the reagent will go to that double bonded carbon which already having highest number of hydrogen atom that means uh, the positive part of the reagent H2O can be written as H plus OH minus the positive part will go to this carbon because this carbon is having uh, more number of hydrogen atoms okay and uh, so what you will get the bond will break the hydrogen will come to this carbon and OH will go to this carbon and we get R what is that uh, CH OH uh, CH3 so this reaction is following Markovnikov's rule okay that is hydration of uh, alkene if you take unsymmetrical alkene unsymmetrical alkene the reaction will follow Markovnikov's rule HOH H plus will, will go to uh, that double bonded carbon which already having uh, highest number of uh, hydrogen atom and you get this product that is the first method of preparation of uh, alcohol from alkene by the hydration of uh, alkene that means alkene react with water in presence of a dilute acid mineral acid okay and second method again uh, uh, same only from alkene B again from alkene B hydroboration hydroboration oxidation hydroboration oxidation process hydroboration oxidation uh, method in this method in this method the alkene is treated with uh, diborane alkene is treated with uh, diborane to get trialkyl borane which on oxidation with the hydrogen peroxide will form alcohol so what is that i can write it what is that in this method alkene alkene 
in this method alkene is is treated with treated with diborane diborane uh, treated with uh, diborane to form to form trialkyl tri alkyl borane tri alkyl borane which on oxidation which on oxidation with hydrogen peroxide h2o2 will give alcohol will give alcohol so hydroboration oxidation method hydroboration oxidation method in hydroboration oxidation method alkene is treated with diborane to form trialkyl borane trialkyl borane which on oxidation with hydrogen peroxide will give alcohol first you study that alkene is treated with diborane alkene is treated with diborane okay let us uh, write the uh, steps for the preparation of uh, alcohol from uh, alkene using uh, diborane so alkene is treated with okay look at it here alkene r ch double bond ch2 alkene is treated with diborane b2hc diborane okay we will we will get okay alkene is treated with diborane diborane okay uh, uh, treated with diborane will form trialkyl borane so trialkyl borane what you look at here you are taking alkene r ch double bond ch2 it will change into r ch2 ch2 trialkyl tris b this is trialkyl borane trialkyl alkyl borane okay this trialkyl borane on oxidation with the hydrogen peroxide h2o2 will be converted to uh, three molecules of uh, r ch2 ch2 oh okay ch2 oh uh, this is the this method is known as uh, 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 hydroboration oxidation hydroboration oxidation if you write a balanced equation 3 r ch double bond ch2 and a half b2 h6 you get r ch2 ch2 r ch2 ch2 thrice b that means tri alkyl borane tri alkyl borane r ch2 ch2 thrice b tri alkyl borane this tri alkyl borane on oxi oxidation with the hydrogen peroxide you get uh, what is that uh, three molecules of uh, r ch2 ch2 oh three molecules of r ch2 ch2 oh this is uh, 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 hydration hydroboration oxidation method hydroboration oxidation method in hydroboration oxidation method alkene is treated with the diborane uh, to give trialkyl borane which on oxidation with the hydrogen peroxide we get alcohol keep it in mind r ch double bond ch2 uh, if you write a balanced equation 3 r ch double bond ch2 plus half b2 h6 half b2 h6 you get r ch2 ch2 thrice b uh, which on oxidation with the hydrogen peroxide 3 r ch2 ch2 h Third method again from 